What would you pay for your dream car? For the uber wealthy, money is no object and their budgets are totally unlimited. The world's finest luxury automobiles are collector's items and playthings, and the rest of us mere mortals can only dream of sitting behind the steering wheel of these phenomenal vehicles. Whether you can afford the highest performing cars on the market, or you just love to appreciate these expertly crafted cars from afar, there's something for everyone on this list. From a 5,000 horsepower supercar that can reach speeds of 310 miles per hour to the classic Ferrari racing car that sold for a record-breaking price at auction. These are the 15 rarest and most expensive cars of all time. Rolls-Royce Vision 103EX Check out this space-age car from the future. Luxury car manufacturers Rolls-Royce have elevated their classic car to create this futuristic vehicle that can be altered and adapted to meet your taste and requirements. Rolls-Royce have dubbed this eccentric cyber car as the automotive equivalent of haute couture and will allow customers to customize the Vision 103EX down to the very last detail. In fact, they've described this game-changing model as less like a car and more like an individual sculpture made from one seamless surface. Yeah, the days of cars just being a vehicle to get from A to B are officially over. Now driving is an art form. Not only does the Vision 103EX offer complete creative control, but it's also accelerating into the future. Rolls-Royce have equipped this crazy-looking car with its very own artificial intelligence system named Eleanor. This state-of-the-art computer will get to know you more and more each time you drive your vehicle and can direct and guide you on your journey. Not only that, but this glamorous car is fully electric with no engine and two electric motors powering the bespoke vehicle. So, how much will this posh ride set you back? Well, this swanky Rolls Royce is so unique and exclusive that its price is only available on request. If you need to ask, you probably can't afford it. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? 1954 Oldsmobile F88 we're leaving the future and heading back into the past. That's right, this super sleek concept car has aged like fine wine. The Oldsmobile F88 was made back in the golden age of automobile design in 1954, and there was only one solitary model left in the world. This specialist motor was one of the most historically significant vehicles of its era, and only four were ever built, making this one super rare. The F88 was built using the chassis of a Chevrolet Corvette with a fiberglass body and a 5.3-liter Super 88 V8 engine, and features natural pigskin upholstery throughout with an eye-catching rear deck design and a sparkling interior trim. In other words, it's absolutely gorgeous. So it's not surprising that its appearance at a 2005 Barrett-Jackson auction sparked a frenzied bidding war. The last remaining Oldsmobile F88 sold for a whopping $3,240,000 US dollars, making it the highest selling car ever at a Barrett-Jackson auction. The proud owner is Discovery Channel founder John S. Hendricks, who has generously put it on display at the Gateway Auto Museum in Colorado for everyone to see. <laughs> Bugatti La Vatour Envire This spectacular car is thought to be the most expensive new car ever built. The Bugatti La Vatour Envire is worth a whopping 11 million euros or almost 13 million US dollars and was sold to a mystery buyer who was one of an exclusive few customers invited to purchase the mind-blowing luxury vehicle. This stunning car is a homage to John Bugatti's Type 57 Atlantic, which vanished into thin air back in 1940 during a train journey, never to be seen again. In fact, many classic car collectors believe that if it were ever found, it would be the most valuable car to ever hit the market. While the Type 57 Atlantic is lost in time, the Bugatti La Vatour Noir has positioned itself firmly in the future. Engineers spent a staggering 65,000 hours finalizing this Chiron-based automobile, making this one of Bugatti's biggest projects to date. There's no doubt about it, this stunning car was definitely worth all the hard work. 
Ferrari 250 GTO Produced by Ferrari from 1962 to 1964, this retro automobile is the most expensive car to have ever been sold. So how much is this swanky sports car actually worth? Well, the price tag might shock you. Yeah, the Ferrari 250 GTO sold for a mega 70 million US dollars and now belongs to American businessman David McNeil, the CEO of WeatherTech, an avid Ferrari collector. That's right, this isn't even McNeil's first Ferrari. The reason behind this sky-high price tag lies in the fact that this particular 250 GTO has never crashed, even after half a century, and is in excellent condition. It even competed in the 1963 Le Mans 24 Hours and Golden Grand Prix and won the Tour de France automobile race during its 50-year lifespan. Sports Car International nominated it Top Sports Car of All Time and Popular Mechanics named it the hottest car of all time, confirming that the Ferrari 250 GTO is indeed the most desirable automobile bill on the planet. If only we had 70 million dollars to spare. <laughs> 2008 Maybach Accelero. If it's good enough for Jay-Z, it's good enough for us. This insane sports car was featured in the hip hop star's music video for his track Lost One and was later purchased by rapper Birdman in 2011 for a whopping $8 million. Reportedly, it's since been purchased by car collector Mechatronic, who leapt at the opportunity to snap up this one-of-a-kind luxury vehicle. The Maybach Accelero was made by Italian automobile company Stola in collaboration with Daimler Chrysler, and only one limited edition model was ever manufactured. This high-performance sports car can reach an astonishing 217 miles per hour and can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour per hour in just 4.4 seconds. Yeah, if you've got a need for speed, this is the vehicle for you. Fitted with a V12 twin turbo engine and specialist Accelero tires, this one-of-a-kind supercar is among one of the fastest cars in the world. Combine that with classy dark leather interiors, shiny black carbon fiber, and blinged out aluminum accents, and you've got a car fit for a superstar. Hmm. <laughs> The Devel 16. This 5,000 horsepower supercar is making big waves in the world of automobile enthusiasts. The Devel 16 made its debut in Dubai back in 2017 and is basically the closest thing you're going to get to a fighter jet on the road. This super sleek car has two huge twin exhausts, a lightweight carbon fiber body, a custom designed billet engine block, and both a crankshaft and a camshaft. But its crowning jewel has to be its V16 quad turbo engine that can reach speed of 310 miles per hour. That's one fast car. In fact, it's said to have the most powerful engine of any other supercar. There have been extensive research and developments when it comes to this high-speed machine, and Devel Motors are aiming to push the boundaries of the industry with this epic vehicle. When will it be on the market? Nobody seems to know. But Devel Motors are taking their time to get it absolutely perfect. We're sure it'll be worth the wait. <laughs> The Bugatti Royale This exquisite luxury car was built back in 1927 to 1933 with the intention of being sold exclusively to European royalty. 25 of these vehicles were in the works when the Great Depression hit, and suddenly demand for a car as expensive and extravagant as this one dried up completely. Only three of the seven made were sold, and now there are only six stunning Bugatti Royales left in the world. At a whopping 21 feet in length and 7,000 pounds in weight, it's safe to say that this classic motor is one of the largest cars on Earth, and they're extremely sought after by collectors. Rarely ever up for sale, some experts have even claimed that if an original Royale entered the market, it could become the first ever car to sell for nine figures. Yet we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. Every Bugatti Royale was fitted with a radiator cap with a sculpture of an elephant, which was created by famous artist Rembrandt Bugatti. The dash knobs were made of whalebone, and the steering wheel was crafted using walnut. Everything about this posh car just screams royalty. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> The 1947 Norman Timms Special Norman Timms was a Los Angeles mechanical engineer who designed epic vehicles that are still admired to this day. One of the finest creations was the coveted 1947 Norman Timms Special, a car so expensive that it never made it to production. This 17-foot-long streamliner was inspired by auto union racers from the 1930s and made using 107 welded pieces of aluminum in order to give it a sleek, curvy exterior. In fact, the body has no hood, no doors, no trunk, and no roof. 
this car certainly is unique. The Norman Thames Special possessed a Buick V8 engine and was capable of reaching a hair-raising 120 miles per hour. However, this awesome automobile hasn't always been given the recognition it deserves. Over the years, it's changed hands multiple times and has even spent a couple of years rusting in the desert junkyard. Luckily, restoration expert Gary Carvini rescued this outstanding car back in 2002 and brought it back to its original glory. Let's hope this incredible vehicle gets the retirement it deserves. <laughs> The fire-breathing Brutus. Usually, seeing a car engine in flames is a sign of impending disaster, but apparently this is not the case with the amazing fire-breathing Brutus. This crazy German race car was actually built around a BMW V12 engine designed for airplanes and can burn through 6.5 gallons of fuel in just over one mile. It emits around 28 grams of CO2 per kilometer and is probably the least environmentally friendly vehicle you could ever imagine. Because Germany was banned from having aircraft after the first World War, there was plenty of spare engines just lying around, and Brutus's manufacturer spent several years designing this car around the giant used aircraft engines sitting on a scrap heap in Senshin. This experimental vehicle might be a gas guzzler, but it's still pretty ingenious. After all, it would be a shame to let good engines go to waste. The Helicron while we're on the topic of an airplane-inspired car, we simply had to include the bizarre Helicron on our list. This propeller-powered vehicle was built in France back in 1932 and has gone down in history as one of the weirdest cars of all time. Now, we know what you're thinking. This wacky racer looks kind of dangerous. And, well, you'd be right. This powerful propeller was guaranteed to chew up and spit out anything that might cross its path, including any unlucky pedestrians. Not to mention the fact that it would shower the driver with any debris that might happen to be lying around on the road. Don't forget your driving goggles. Now, unfortunately, the propeller was so bulky that there wasn't actually enough room for the front wheels to turn, meaning the chassis had to be turned around by 180 degrees. This design left the steering at the back, making driving this vehicle very difficult. Unsurprisingly, this crazy car was abandoned for good in the 1930s and forgotten about for seven whole decades. It was rediscovered in an old barn in the year 2000, and in a shock twist that nobody saw coming, the French government actually made it road legal that very year. Watch out for this eccentric car. No, really, watch out. The Porsche 916 This phenomenal sports car is so fast that Porsche bosses banned it for making their other cars look bad. When the Porsche 916 went up for auction at Sotheby's in 2020, experts valued it from anywhere between 900,000 and 1 million US dollars. As just one of 10 built, this luxury supercar is one of the most desirable Porsche models out there, and we really can totally see why. This motor is gorgeous, with a banana yellow exterior and corduroy and snakeskin seat trims, complete with a retro paisley pattern. This snazzy car never goes out of style. Not only does it look great, but it's also a great drive. With a 2.7 liter, 210 BHP flat fix engine behind the seats, this fast car offers speed and style. Yeah, the Porsche 916 is worth every cent of that million bucks. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. The world's most expensive SUV. The Carlman King is the most expensive SUV on the planet. This custom car is built on the chassis of a Ford F550 and looks like it might fit right in driving around the streets of Gotham. Yeah, this supercar really stands out from the crowd. Intended to be a work of art, this unusual angular car was conceived by Italian designer Luciano D'Ambragio and built by hand. Over 1,800 people worked for 15 months painstakingly assembling the base model by hand in order to achieve this striking asymmetrical body. And all that hard work is reflected in the price. The Carlman King starts at $1 million, but can reach up to $4 million with added extras. So what do you get for $3 million worth of upgrades? How about a widescreen TV, a fully stocked champagne fridge, coffee machine, a brand new PlayStation, and the finest leather upholstery? Yeah. The Carlman King has all of those, plus you can add real gold trimmings and a completely bulletproof exterior. When it comes to space, comfort, and safety, this vehicle really is the king of SUVs. Hmm. <laughs> Ferrari F50 GT 
This racing derivative of the Ferrari F50 was originally intended to compete in the BPR Global GT Series, but the project was eventually cancelled due to lack of funding back in 1996. As a result, only three of these remarkable cars were ever made, and they're extremely sought after by collectors. The Ferrari F50 GT had a fixed roof, large rear wing, and was capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. Mysteriously, Ferrari never revealed exactly how much this car cost to build or even how much they sold it for, but rumor has it that one of the three models was sold for a whopping 1.42 million back in 2000. Now, car experts reckon that if a Ferrari F50 GT were to go up for auction, it could fetch as much as $13 million. If you ever wanted to own one of these race cars, you better start saving right now. Aston Martin DBR1 this rare 1956 Aston Martin DBR1 is the most expensive British car ever. This ultra-flash sports car sold for a mind-blowing $22.5 million at auction, and only one of a total five has ever been offered for public sale. It's basically the unicorn of luxury cars. Not only does it have a super-elegant exterior, but this extraordinary classic car has an incredible history. It was voted the most elegant sports car of all time. The Aston Martin DBR1 is famous for taking racing legend Sir Sterling Moss to victory at the 1955 Nürburgring 1000, and it also came in first place at the 1959 Le Mans 24 Hours. Yet this is the car of champions. No wonder it's the most expensive British car of all time. The Dynasphere. And now it's time for our final rare and expensive car. We had to save the strangest vehicle for last. This monowheel automobile was designed back in 1930 and was actually inspired by an original sketch drawn by Leonardo da Vinci named the Dynosphere. This eccentric mode of transport could reach top speeds of 30 miles per hour and was even dubbed the high-speed vehicle of the future. However, this giant hamster wheel definitely had its problems. The main issue being that it was nearly impossible to steer or brake. It was also built from a latticework of pure iron that weighed 1,000 pounds, which let's face it doesn't seem all that safe to maneuver. The driver would have to lean in whichever direction they wanted to travel in, and it was powered by a gas motor that was capable of a measly 2.5 horsepower. Believe it or not, the inventor was so happy with his utterly bonkers vehicle that he even developed a bus version that could hold multiple passengers in 1935. Just think. If this weird automobile had actually taken off, we could all be rolling around in massive iron wheels. Now there's a crazy thought. So there we have it. The great thing about cars is that they don't even have to be brand new to be totally exciting to drive. Whether you like sleek modern designs or prefer the classics, there's something out there for everyone. Which one of these rare and expensive cars was your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.